Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo tutorial where I'm going to be looking at embossing an image or giving the effect of embossing an image using the lighting filter. Now this is the image I'm going to use and this is an end result that you could get using the lighting filter so it looks like you know, the branches and the bird are sort of embossed onto I don't know maybe metal or something like that. Now, uh, at the outset I do want to say that this would not necessarily work on all images and I will sort of demonstrate that a bit at the end of the video. So, getting on with this tutorial, if you want to use the same image as me, what I did, I came to the stock tab, I used Unsplash and I just typed in bird and a bit further down here you got this red bird um, which I think is done by somebody called Timothy Dyke now I'm not a big fan of using um, stock images as they are so you're just dragging them into Affinity Photo partly because you can't just drag an image in and it will open up you have to open up a document and if you don't know the size of this document this picture you're either going to make the document too big or too small and you're going to have to adapt the size and also don't think the quality is always at its best just dragging it in so I personally prefer to go to either Unsplash or Pixabay or what have you now if you want to do that like myself what you can do is double click on the image that you like and that will open up the web page for where you can download the actual image and this will work on Unsplash or Pixabay or what the other stock um, tab, I can't remember what, what it is uh, Pexels so if you just double click on the image it will open up the website and you can download the full proper picture which is what I've done here and I've opened it up so let me get rid of this embossed one here so the first thing I'm going to do and come to the layers now I'm going to duplicate this four times you don't have to do that but I'm going to do this because I'm going to demonstrate different ways of doing this and I'm going to use different layers. So I will hide the bottom three and I won't use the bottom one, I'm just keeping that as a safeguard in case I need to um, reuse it at some later point. So we have the background image or whatever image that you want. Now at the outset I'm going to say that I'm going to have a look at the FX tab which is if you click on the FX icon here. Now normally you would do embossing with Bevel Emboss or maybe the 3D but if you use that on a sort of flat image all you're really going to do is affect the outside edge and give it a sort of a frame you know like that that's the 3D and if I turn that off and come back to Bevel Emboss and you alter that you're just affecting the frame, you're not affecting the image. I mean these work very well on like text and what have you and you can make have good effects using this but it's not much use on a flat image so I've turned all those off and I'll shut that down. So what we're going to use is the lighting filter. If you come up to filters and down to lighting now by default you get the type that is spot. Now um, you can use spot for this effect and I will be showing that later but I personally think that point works best because you get this circle of light and you can click and hold on this middle point and put it to where you want it on the picture. Now you can also alter the size of this light circle by default it's on 15% I'm going to make that 20% give a much bigger circle of light 
Now I'm not personally going to alter anything else, but you, if you want to have a tinker around and make it brighter or duller, which might suit your pictures better, but I'm going to leave this on 20% and point. And then down the bottom here we have a texture slider. And you can move it left or right. Now if I move this all the way to the right, you can see you're now getting that embossed look. And if you go, if I take it all the way to the left, you get the sort of reverse embossed look. I don't, um, not sure what that's called, but so I'm going to leave mine going to the right. So that is like pretty much as it is. And the only thing I warn, will warn you about is that when you click apply, how this looks here, which looks quite good and shiny. On some pictures it will stay shiny and what have you, and on others it will become dull. Now this one will become dull. And I'll click on apply. And then you get this dull but embossed look. Which is very nice. And that is one way of doing it. So let me hide that layer and I will unhide the layer below and making sure that this is the layer that is highlighted. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn this into a black and white image. And to do that I'm going to use the adjustment. So this is sort of half black and white circle here and I will come up to black and white. Now, what we're trying to do here is to make a very contrasty image so where the blacks are really black and the whites are sort of pretty white because that will help with getting the embossing effect. Now, your image will have different settings and these settings are only for my personal taste um, but I'm going to put red on 113, yellow I'm going to put on 136, green I'm going to go minus 89, cyan minus 112. The blue I'm going to leave where it is on 100% or 0 and the magenta I'm going to make it minus 54. So as you can see here I have got some of the details still left in the bird and I'm making some of these areas quite dark or patchy so a bit more noticeable and hopefully they will stand out better and once I'm happy with the settings that I've got I'm just going to click on merge and that will merge down into the layer that I had and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to export this so we'll come up to file export and I've already saved this once before so I'm not going to save it again but what you need to do is to give it a new name so I've called mine bump map bird number two so I'll cancel that because like I said it's already saved from the previous time I've done it so now you can discard this black and white image you don't need that anymore and open up the next image and then I will come to again to filters lighting I'm going to come to point I'm going to make that 20% again again I'm going to move the light source to the top of the bird there but this time I'm going to click on load bump map and then you just need to navigate to where you have that black and white image saved and this black and white image will be the bump map so I'm going to select that and click open now 
nothing has actually happened yet because we haven't moved the texture slide. So I can now move this to the right or left. But as you can see, the embossing effect is much more noticeable using a bump map than it did just using the textures um, by itself. Again, when I click apply, this will become a bit duller like that. So that top one was the one without the bump map. So if I click on that, that is the embossed effect without the bump map. And that is the embossed effect with the bump map. So that is how you can use lighting to emboss a picture. Now, like I said, this will work okay on some pictures and not others. So if I come to this image here, these next two I've got from Pixabay. You can see this is a, quite a bright picture compared to the picture of the red bird. And this is a bit more colourful. So if I come to filters, lighting, and I'm going to use the same settings, points, 20%. I'm going to put this sort of between our eyes like that. I'm not going to worry about using a bump map at the moment for this one. So if I move this all the way to the right, as you can see, that has a really dramatic effect on this image, much more so than with the bird image. I think because there's more contrast already in this picture with the lights and darks. So if I click apply, I mean, it doesn't do this girl any favours, and I apologise to her. Um, but as you can see, that looks much more embossed than the, the bird picture did. And if you were doing this properly, you probably wouldn't have pushed it right up to 100%, but that's just for demonstration purposes. So I come to this next image. Now this image is pretty much either the white shirt and sort of a very light face or a dark background so there's not a, the only real contrast is either white or dark so if I come to filters lighting and point 20% and we'll put that right between his eyes and if I move this to the right or, or even to the left at 100% it's pretty much the same. Now looking at that you can see some sort of embossed effect but when I click apply that is not so noticeable. But if I zoom in you can see, see the sort of embossed effect on his shirt and it is a very grainy picture. So like I said, it will work on some pictures better than on others. And one last thing I will do, coming back to this bird picture, is let me just duplicate that again. I'm not going to, I will use the bump map, but let's come to lighting. Now this time I'm going to show you that it will work on the other light sources. So let me just open this up and make that a bit brighter there. Like so. And I will again use the same bump map that I used before that one and then alter the texture right up to 100% and you can see this area back here is not having as much effect or is not being affected because it's only the light areas that are being affected so I click apply and as you can see we get this sort of dark circle here so it does work with you know either light source be it spot or point and I would imagine directional as well, but I've not looked at that one. So it's just something to try out and tinker with. It may, I can't see this be something you're going to use that often, but it is quite a different effect. So 
uh, you know, try it and see what you think. I have also done a written tutorial for this and I will add a link to this into the description for the video so you can download that if you so desire. So basically that's it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.